established in 2015 with a vision to establish a world-class institute and become a global leader in medical education and healthcare by setting up a benchmark for quality education and then make students competent to deliver empathetic patient care and be socially responsible. To achieve this vision, we have developed the mission to impart futuristic and comprehensive medical education and enhance the research practices to produce competent medical professionals with high sense of uh, discipline and social relevance in a serene, invigorating environment can effectively serve the community at large. GYMSER actually it adopts a holistic approach in medical education where the focus would be on research, community engagement and personality development of the student. The stress is on providing affordable health care and quality health care for both the urban and rural population. The environment at GYMSER enables and fosters interdisciplinary research and also across different uh, schools of the university. Uh, to ensure this, uh, the campus is wholly completely Wi-Fi enabled and uh, the students have access to a variety of e-learning resources. In addition to the curriculum, we place an emphasis on ethical values and moral behavior, which enables the students to become empathetic healthcare professionals. Now, the whole admission process is initially by the National Testing Agency, which conducts the NEET examination at the national level. And all the deemed universities, including the Githam University and JIMSA, the admission process is through NCC, the Medical Counseling Committee, which is the competent authority under NTI, that gives admissions to students. And the same cutoffs are being followed for general category, it is 50%, and for a reservist category, that is SCST, it is around 40%, and 45% uh, for disabled and EWS category. So these are the cutoffs, 50th percentile in the NEET examination, and all the cutoff levels followed by the National Testing Agency and the MCC are being followed for this institute also. So for MBBS students who are training to be doctors, theoretical knowledge is not just enough. Application of theory to real life patient, uh, patient scenarios is essential. Early clinical exposure makes this possible. And here at GEMSA, early clinical exposure and practical experience is given utmost importance. Since day one at GEMSA, we are taken to the hospital and we are encouraged to talk with the patients. This has helped us to develop our interpersonal communication skills and also helped us to do our clinical assessments better. I'd like to discuss three common myths that MBBS students believe in. The first being only book smart individuals who memorize and succeed in a medical college. While studying is crucial in MBBS, it's not just to memorization. It is more than that. Understanding concepts in our own, applying critical thinking to problems, developing good interpersonal communication skills, and above all, to have adaptability is very important to do well and succeed in a medical school. The other myth that we would like to address is. MBBS students do not have a social life. While the workload is demanding in medical school, it is still possible for the students to have a social life. For this, a student has to learn to balance studies, clinicals, and social activities. They can achieve this by being regular with their classwork and studying regularly on time and by learning better management, time management skills and prioritization of their work. The last myth that I would like to address is that Medical college is just like how they show in TV shows. That is not true at all. It requires a lot more hard work, dedication, and single-minded focus to wanting to become a good doctor. These are the most common myths that I would like to bust.
Okay, next examination is one of the crucial steps as far as the career of medical student is concerned. And Jimsar has realized this in the early 2023. And Jimsar has introduced the mock tests, which are based on next pattern for the final year students. We have introduced the mock test and we have completely revamped the structured instructions at Jimsar, focusing on critical thinking, clinical problem solving, which is the basis for the next examination. And we have also introduced the online computer-based high quality multiple choice tests, which are part of formative assessment throughout the MBBS course. Uh, this is how we are preparing our students uh, to be competent enough and make them successful at the next examination. This is uh, uh, truly agreed. Uh, so uh, I'll first take on the research. Uh, at Jimsar, uh, our students are exposed to different uh, steps of research process across the different phases of the medical curriculum. Uh, some of the common chances where they understand uh, to uh, do the process of research is by getting involved in the ICMR short-term studentship projects uh, where they work under the guidance of the faculty. And uh, students, they are also encouraged to take up uh, research projects in collaboration with the faculty, get uh, involved in the already existing research projects. And also as a part of their elective postings, uh, uh, they get a chance uh, to get uh, and understand the nuances of uh, doing research in the medical field. And uh, coming to the innovation front, uh, we can proudly say the university has established a venture development center, which is... Uh, uh, having well-qualified coaches and uh, uh, faculty who can mentor the students for developing the innovative ideas and also encourages them to progress towards uh, achieving the solutions for the, some of the challenging problems that are encountered in the medical field. Accreditation is an important aspect which need to be considered when any students want to enter into a medical school. Accreditation benefits the students to know more about the medical college and its status both at the national level as well as the international level. Accreditation also eliminates the faulty surveys which are being published in many magazines uh, which can influence the students in choosing uh, medical colleges. And it is now necessary to stratify medical colleges based on their performance. It's the right step which NMC has taken. At present, we have NAC and NIRF which are already ranking the institute in order to keep up with the international standards and to attract foreign students. These accreditations are of immense benefit. I must tell you, the GYMSAR has already secured NAC A++, which is the highest uh, ranking as far as the institutions are concerned, uh, which is at the national level. So this accreditation will deliver the strengths based on the institute's performance. That's true that uh, everybody cannot be a surgeon, though, though it is uh, a wrong practice. There are certain aptitudes of the students who decides the path, whether to go into a medical stream or to a surgical stream. These aptitudes are usually developed during their uh, development years and study at the medical school in the past uh, four and a half years, they develop these aptitudes. Basically, people who believe in their motor skills of surgical branches and those who are confident with mental agility and ability choose medical branches. However, the influence of medical or surgical faculty who teaches uh, these subjects at the medical school highly influences the students to choose the right path. So straight out of MBBS, most of the students, the obvious path that they take is to continue when pursue post-graduation or what we call residency. That can be done in various fields, um, medicine and allied fields like general medicine, pediatrics, dermatology, psychiatry, 
or surgical fields like general surgery, anesthesiology, various other fields, orthopedics, any of these fields, they can pursue a post-graduation or what we call a residency. Once they finish MBBS, they can also join services, the government services as medical officers, and then maybe go down, down the lane, do post-graduation at a later date. Once they finish post-graduation, they can either start private practice or they can join other hospitals. Some um, medical graduates who are interested in teaching and who have a passion for it can join academic institutes and then pave the path and uh, train the future generation of doctors. As a part of the academic institutes, they can also pursue research. Research as a separate route after MBBS also is a possibility where they can uh, take a PhD and you know uh, go down the research route completely. Then the other options are if they want to branch out and they have good administrative skills, they can pursue an MBA or a hospital administration uh, course and they can be a part of administrative services and be a part of health management and healthcare administration. A very new and upcoming field is the medical informatics, where there is a blending of uh, medical education as well as technology. So development of medical softwares or biomedical devices, that also is a good career option to have. Those who have interest can also join in work in public health organizations, nonprofit organizations for the betterment of population health, and they can be a part of framing policy, healthcare policies. Um, they could also work with international organizations and work towards global health and uh, humanitarian work. Those are the few career options that they have, which is not just mainstream being a doctor, but they can still have options where they can branch out. As rightly said, uh, I think the role of allied health personnel in providing health care uh, and comprehensive patient care is well recognized in the Western world and is of now gaining much importance even in our Indian settings. So here, apart from the medical school, uh, the Jimsar also has a college of nursing, college of uh, physiotherapy and a school of allied health sciences. So the students at, at uh, Jimsar have a unique opportunity to work in collaboration with physicians and as well as other healthcare providers for delivering holistic patient care and foster a culture of working as a team. And this is very important in providing quality healthcare. And these team dynamics also help them to become better professionals in their future career. When I started looking up for a medical college, uh, I would definitely choose one that's easily accessible for traveling, something which has an excellent infrastructure with good classrooms and labs and provides good clinical exposure. And, and with Jimsir, I found all of these along with experienced and supportive faculty who provide quality education along with guidance and mentorship. I would definitely look for something other than academics, something to indulge into co-curricular activities. So, and in Jimsir, we have five different clubs one is for the arts and literature, the cultural activities, the social services, sports, and the student magazine and editorial clubs. I would definitely look for an anti-ragging uh, or ragging-free campus. And together as a whole, it should be a holistic learning approach. So the first and foremost important learning outcome for any MBBS undergraduate is to have a strong scientific foundation of basic sciences like anatomy, physiology, pathology, um, microbiology, pharmacology. This is done not only through classroom teachings at gym, sir. We also have small group discussions and then there's practical learning that happens in the anatomy dissection halls and in the various museums and other labs. We also take integrated uh, teaching very uh, seriously in uh, at gym, sir, where faculty of different subjects come together to teach one particular concept so that the students develop an in-depth understanding of the concept. Now, building on this scientific knowledge, the next important learning outcome is for them to develop clinical skills, like history taking, examination of patients. This is done at Gym Sir uh, through the training that happens in the skills lab and also by posting the students early on for clinical exposure, where they get to interact with the patients and develop and hone their clinical skills. We also at Gym Sir have a very effective ATCOM module that is taught by uh, experienced faculty 
where the students learn the principles of medical ethics and patient confidentiality and good communication skills. With this, they can become empathetic and compassionate doctors who can treat patients and their colleagues with respect and integrity. Jim, sir, our students are really encouraged to be curious and lifelong learners. In the past so many years, uh, research in healthcare has been completely neglected and usually it is not part of the MBBS curriculum. Research is taken up only at the postgraduate level, but uh, NMC for the past couple of years has introduced uh, research as an important component in MBBS curriculum. Promoting healthcare research among students through Offering them electives in various you know, specialties, including super specialties, early clinical exposure, the family adoption program are some of the new initiatives which promotes the research aptitude among medical students. Uh, what I must say is that uh, the appropriate interventions which are suitable to uh, resource constant countries like India uh, to tackle the age-old pestering uh, health problems like anemia, malnutrition, need to be introduced. And students are the right individuals who can think differently out of the box. And the present curriculum at Jimsa accommodates uh, the students' views and they can undertake uh, various field research projects, assignments as well as hospital-based uh, research projects and assignment as a part of their uh, formative assessments to fulfill their uh, research aptitude. We also foster the clinical uh, critical thinking among students through problem-based learning to improve the creativity among medical students. The main emphasis is on clinical application of basic sciences, which are part of the current curriculum, which will inculcate uh, research aptitude among medical students. Medicine is considered to be a noble profession. And as you all know, uh, saving a life gives so much satisfaction, which no other profession will be able to offer. And eliminating suffering from fellow human beings requires a lot of empathetic attitude, which is a part of any medical uh, professional. And uh, I must say that uh, medical students who opt medical profession uh, should not compare the materialistic positions of fellow individuals from other professions. So they must keep in mind that medicine is a noble profession and they must be able to fulfill their duty to eliminate suffering of fellow human beings and improve the healthcare of the community.